a mess. Everything is a mess, everything is a mess. <laughs> this is the aftermath. Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I'm gonna be doing some collage. It's, it has been a while since I've done any collage. It's also been a while since I've sat down to make a video. So yeah, we'll have a little bit of a catch up. We'll do some autumnal themed collages and yeah, hopefully it'll be very lovely and cozy. I have got supplies in this lovely folder. I've been painting paper, also painting my hands. I have washed my hands several times. <laughs> I still feel like there might be some paint just kind of embedded in my skin somewhere. Anyway, I have painted a lot of paper. Ignore the fact that this has the months of the year. Lots and lots of paper. It's been a really, really long time since I've made any collages and I'm taking part in something called Autumn Week, which I've done before. It's started by Amanda, who goes by Amanda Louise on Instagram. Myself and Amanda and some other kind of like artists and creative types are hosting it. It is running from, let me double check. Yeah, so it's the last week in September, the 26th till the 30th, is it? I can't quite see my calendar, there's a plant in the way. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up, so possibly it might have already gone up afterwards, but you know, here's the prompt list anyway. So if you're late hearing about it, you can always join in and you don't have to do collage um you can do like any kind of art medium you like i'm gonna start with the mushroom one so i'm doing the classic red toadstool mushroom what what is it actually called those, those red mushrooms what are they called what are those mushrooms called that everybody loves because they're pretty i want to say <laughs> i nearly wanted to call it a garlic um, agaric, is that it? Agaric? So this isn't gonna be a tutorial exactly, this is just gonna be kind of me showing you my process and probably coming into problems and figuring things out along the way and just kind of experimenting and seeing what happens. But in case you are also wanting to collage, you will need things to collage with, such as some paper, you will need more paper to put the collage pieces on you'll need some glue obviously and some scissors um okay i'm gonna get started call me out tiger call me out why don't you Lift me up higher Above the clouds, won't you love? When the scenery is right, go right in I've not got very far, but I have cut out a bit for the toadstool. And my idea for this piece is I wanted to create a mushroom house. And yeah, the prompt is actually mushroom picking. And probably just because me and Tom are house hunting at the moment, I thought it would be kind of cute to do like a little mushroom house. I'm not sure if uh, the peach color will be okay for the mushroom. It might be okay. I've realized that I haven't done a lot of kind of like whites and th or like off white colors. Um, and I'm kind of wishing that I've done some like paler colours as well to like sort of contrast. And I thought I painted a lot of paper, but, and I'm, I'm not going back to paint more paper now. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Maybe we can adjust the colour just with some pencils or, or maybe it will look okay if I do like a dark background. Okay, this does not fit onto my piece of paper. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to shrink you down. But actually, I think I do quite like the colours of these. I think I prefer having like bits of green 
and beige to like the kind of peach color mushroom. I think it just kind of looks a bit more foresty. I kind of want, I wanted to do like a little path here. So I need space for the path. I might, I might trim the top of this bit off. I need to add some doors or a door and some windows. Oh no, one is chimney as well. Right, this is, I've definitely done this way too big. I need to kind of shrink everything down. I would make it bigger if I had a bigger scanner. <laughs> um, but I don't really want to be stitching it together on the computer. I've been struggling a little bit with the mushroom. I've done this one and then I quite like this shape, but I thought I'll put that bit to one side and work on it another bit. So I thought I would tackle a nice little fiddly detail bit. <laughs> okay, so I thought I would do some of the black berries. So yeah, I've cut out these nice little kind of cloud shapes. And then I'm doing some really tiny fiddly bits. Let me show you here. This is how tiny they are. I'm doing lots of little tiny like berries and then I'm just going to pray that I don't drop them all. And oh my goodness, oh. Right, this might be tricky, but yeah, I'm gonna try and glue them onto these berries. I need to make sure that I don't suddenly sneeze or carelessly move my hands around and not all these tiny pieces over but look so pretty but yes i'm not entirely sure how many collages i'm going to be able to make the challenge is the last week of september but uh next week we are actually going to wales um again <laughs> because we're actually planning on moving to wales so we're going there looking for some houses um so yeah that's kind of the big news and also why I haven't been making very many videos just because we've been kind of sorting out house stuff. We've been in the process of getting our house ready um, and like putting that on the market and having people come over to view the house and just the kind of constant cleaning up, uh, making sure that that's ready. Um, and we've got now got a buyer for our house, so that is good. Fingers crossed this time will be the time that we actually find a house and put an offer in and that that offer is accepted. That would be really cool. I'm gonna make a start on the collages before we go away and um, then I'll carry on after we come back. So maybe I can update you if I have any news. We'll see. It will probably be a very long time before we do eventually move. The people that are buying our house, they want to move in like January or February. I don't know how that's that time frame is going to work. I don't know if um, it will be sooner if we manage to find somewhere. It might be longer. Um, these things, yeah, tend to take a while. And I don't know if the place we're going to get, if that's going to have a chain or not. So it might all take a really, really long time. Um, ah, sun. Oh, hello. Um, good morning. It is Friday morning. Um, I'll show you my desk in a minute, but it is covered in bits of paper, and I've got loads of little tiny circles cut out. So I'm going to try not to breathe too. <laughs> um vigorously and blow them all off the desk I do, yeah i don't feel like i've made very much progress um with this collage yet but it, it's been a while since i've done a collage so i'm kind of 
getting into the swing of things. I've put on an autumnal jumper and I'm actually feeling quite warm so I might need to take this off. Uh, yeah, let me show you what is on my desk. Paper everywhere. These are the berries. I think they're, they've come out quite well. I kind of, I wanted to do like some green ones as well, some sort of like unripe ones. So I'm going to do some of those as well. I've got a couple of branches over here. These are going to just be little pebble things so I can build a little path. Um, this is just a stack of uh, of paper. Hopefully get this finished today because uh, I have other things to do. <laughs> Okay, so here is voiceover Emma filling in the gaps. So Friday I managed to do a little bit more collaging, but like I said, I had a lot to do. I needed to pack and ring estate agents and just generally get organized. Surprise, surprise, I didn't finish the collage before we went away. Then here is me picking the collage back up after we've come back from Wales. So yeah, we had a good time in Wales saw houses, put an offer on a house, didn't get it, but I am talking to you a long time in the future. Well, <laughs> or maybe not a long time, a short time in the future. And we have actually now managed to find a house in Wales. We've put an offer on and they've accepted. Ah! But yeah, so that is, that is very new, 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 new news. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably be a while before we move. Like, I don't think that will be until like the new year. Anyway, back to the collage. Um, yeah, this was taking a really long time. Um, I think because of all the details that I decided to do. And let's face it, I spent <laughs> a lot of time just making the blackberries for this, um, which is funny because the prompt was actually mushroom picking, not blackberry picking. I was really tempted to do a lot of detail on the roof of the mushroom house. I had this idea of like layering the tiles, which I imagine would have looked really cool, but, but I just realized that that was gonna take me forever. I think for the time constraints that I had and the fact that this collage was already taking a really long time, I think adding the detail in pencil just made sense and it still kind of added to that kind of like cottagey vibe. I added a wood texture to the front door using some colored pencils, then used some yellow paper to create kind of like a glowing light effect and um, make it feel nice and cozy. I then decided that I didn't actually like the color that I painted for the grass. It was a bit too kind of blue. I ended up cutting out some strips of green paper and did a kind of like zigzaggy pattern at the top um, for like a grass effect. And then it was time for another really fiddly detailed bit and I cut out all these tiny grey circles and created a pebble path. I think maybe if I was going to do the path again I might make it more of a curved shape. I'm pretty sure I intended to do that in my kind of vision um, but somehow it ended up coming out as a straight path. And then I used those same circles to create a chimney as well which I thought looked quite cute and I also decided to stick some of them onto the mushroom as well just to kind of allude to bricks. It doesn't really make so much sense having pebbles stuck on a mushroom but I just quite liked the effect of it. And then it was time to layer up even more with the branches, the leaves and the blackberries. If Tom is watching this video, he's gonna be so proud of me for saying the word <laughs> blackberry and not calling it a black currant, just because I always muddle up black currant and blackberry. Piece of information you didn't know you needed. And yeah, then this is the final result. I really love how it came out, even though it did take me a really long time. If you want to see the other collages, they are all on my Instagram. The link for that is in the description. I'm gonna sign off now. I hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I will see you in my next video, okay, bye. We are having a disagreement with the sun right now. So now you just have a lovely shadow puppet display. <laughs> the thing with doing collages is you end up making a massive mess and then losing all the bits that you cut out. <laughs>
I am going to make a big mess. <laughs> that is very similar to the shirt dress that I'm wearing. <laughs> and also my lipstick. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another... La, 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 la. Wait, do I need a face? Oh, I think that was my stomach curdling. Might be dinner time soon. <laughs> Ready to start. It has been a while. Thank you for coming. I know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile. I'll have a cup of tea while you have a latte for both you and me. The caffeine will make sure that you don't. 